He is known for developing a philosophy of action and applying the method of phenomenology in his work. He is recognized for his exploration of the distinction between the willing will and the willed will, leading to his hypothesis of the supernatural. His name is Maurice Blondel. In the quaint town of Dijon, France, a young Maurice Blondel was born in 1861. Although his family had ties to the legal profession, Maurice was drawn to the world of philosophy from an early age. His insatiable curiosity drove him to pursue a career in academia, and in 1881, he gained admission to the prestigious École Normale Supérieure in Paris. It was in 1893 that Maurice completed his groundbreaking thesis, L'Action. This work, which he referred to as, an essay on a critique of life and a science of practice, marked a turning point in his career. However, his profound Christian beliefs clashed with the prevailing philosophical views of the time, leading to the denial of a teaching position due to concerns that his conclusions compromised reason. Undeterred, Maurice found solace in the guidance of his former teacher, Émile Boutroux, who helped him secure a position as a maitre de conferences first at Lille and then at AIXN province in 1895. It was in AIXN province that Maurice would spend the rest of his illustrious career, delving deeper into his philosophy of action. Drawing upon the principles of phenomenology, Maurice examined the concept of action and questioned the Enlightenment's emphasis on thought. He discerned a distinction between the willing will and the willed will, highlighting a fundamental insufficiency between these two elements of human volition. Seeking to understand how the willing will could find fulfillment in the willed will, Maurice embarked on a profound exploration. This intellectual journey led him to propose the supernatural as the ultimate source of fulfillment. He firmly believed that this was the limit of a philosopher's scope, leaving the precise nature of the supernatural to the realm of theology. Morris's ideas and writings, including his subsequent works on religion, ignited impassioned debates and controversies. While Pope Pius X's encyclical in 1907 addressed the modernist threat, Morris's thought remained associated with the modernists, although he himself was never targeted by the encyclical. Despite the challenges and controversies he faced, Morris's influence on Catholic thought remained significant. He continued to publish thought-provoking works, including a trilogy dedicated to thought, being, and action. In his later years, Morris's health declined, and he retired in 1927. However, his intellectual pursuits persisted, and he published his concrete and integral ontology essay, Lettres et les Etres, in 1935, followed by L'Esprit Crétine in 1946. Tragically, Maurice Blondel passed away in 1949 in the city he had called home for so many years, Aixn Province. His legacy endured, leaving an indelible mark on the world of philosophy and theology. Maurice Blondel's unwavering commitment to exploring the nature of action and the supernatural continues to inspire scholars and thinkers to this day. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.